First of all, it started with cameras pointing at you being very overt that they were monitoring you. Then you had officers coming up using your names, knowing where you'd been the previous week or the previous month. Um, I, you know, I even had officers saying, oh, uh, you, you weren't in the country last week, were you? Uh, you were in warmer climates, which means they knew I was off on a job in Mexico. Uh, and I just got back. In 2007 alone, I got somewhere between 21 and 23 searches just trying to get to a job. So this is even before I've got there. And the, you know there would be uh, stop and searches under the Terrorism Act, uh, stop and searches for weapons under other public order acts or the Criminal Justice Act. Uh, anything that was used to disrupt um, did kind of happen. And, and this is where I started to challenge it through the National Union of Journalists, specifically on my own case. But then as I brought it to the attention to the union, we started, other people, other journalists were going, yeah, this is happening to me as well. So then we started to see, once I started speaking up and going public about it, I think that's where we saw other journalists stand up and say, yeah, this is not on. You know, I mean, you had BBC journalists being uh, stopped and searched under the Terrorism Act because they were pointing in camera at St Paul's Cathedral, doing a sunset shot. Part of uh, what the intelligence units are doing is letting the people on the ground know who they're putting under surveillance, let them know that they are under surveillance. Part of that is to do is to intimidate. And you know, for one thing, young protesters come up, uh, start getting involved in protest, uh, whatever issue it is. Officers who you know to be intelligence officers start coming up and saying, we know where you were last week, we know who you are, we know who you're talking to. That's gonna put people off. We've now found out after eight years of investigation through the National Union journalists that journalists have been spied on. For years the police have outright denied this and said no, this is not going on, we don't keep records. Now we've caught them um, and now we're going to take it to court to say we're going to challenge this and we're going to prove that this is unlawful, you shouldn't be doing this.